Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be taking a look at the Death Trooper Black Chrome version 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from their Star Wars line of collectible figures. The box is a standard shoebox design. It features a deep gray angled window leading into an image of the Death Trooper wielding his blaster rifle on a black field. The usual Chrome Star Wars logo rests just beneath that image. Below the logo, we're greeted by Hot Toys trademark cigar band, this time in hues of black and silver, bearing the name of the Death Trooper Black Chrome version, as well as two additional images of the figure. Lifting the top off the shoebox reveals an insert with yet another image, this time of two Death Troopers standing tall, blaster carbines at the ready. Opening the box reveals the Death Trooper Black Chrome version resting right there in the center of the plastic clamshell surrounded by all of its accessories. These include an array of seven swappable hands, a blaster carbine, and an SE-14R light repeating blaster. Just beneath the trooper's legs we can catch a glimpse of a standard hexagonal display base complete with a chromed imperial sigil overlay. All right, out of the box, this figure really starts to look menacing with all that black chrome. Look at it there in the center on its display base, accompanied by all of its accessories. Up at the top, you can see the E11D carbine, as well as the SE14R sidearm. Laid out there at the bottom, you'll see the seven additional hands, including a pair of fists, a pair of trigger hands, a pair of gripping hands, and a left gesturing hand. Hot Toys recommends when handling any of their chrome six scale figures that you wear white cotton gloves in order to avoid leaving unsightly fingerprints. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the Death Trooper black chrome version six scale figure. From head to toe, as the name implies, this figure is a highly polished, darkly reflective variant of the Death Trooper. Take a look at that chrome with its warm tones. Really distinguishes itself from other chrome variants that Hot Toys has released. The top of the black chrome helmet can be removed, revealing a battery compartment and a switch for igniting the helmet's light-up feature. Alright, now let's check out the range of motion on the Death Trooper. The head will tilt down and up and rock from side to side. And finally, the double-jointed neck will allow you to thrust the head forward and back. You can rotate the head as much as you need to. Moving down to the shoulders, the shoulders will shrug, dip, press, and rock. You can achieve a lateral raise at the shoulders of almost 90 degrees. And almost 90 degrees and anterior raise as well. and about 70 degrees of posterior raise. The double jointed elbow will give you the maximum amount of curl. And the figure's arm will rotate at a break above the bicep. The armored torso will allow you to get a little bit of ab crunch, as well as a nominal amount of torso extension. You can also get a respectable amount of torso twist to either side. Moving on down to the lower extremities, you'll be able to get about 45 degrees of lateral lift. The figure will also be able to achieve about 45 degrees of anterior lift. The joint in the knee will allow you to bend the leg about 90 degrees, and a break at the thigh will allow you to rotate the leg. Finally, the joint at the ankle will allow you to lift the foot extend it, pronate it, and supinate it. Now let's take a closer look at these accessories starting with the weapons. The E11D is a standard line blaster for the Death Trooper. The lines on it are very very crisp and tight, as are those on the SE14R sidearm. The figure arrives with two relaxed grip hands, but those hands can be exchanged for any of these, including the pair of fists, the pair of trigger fingers, a pair of gripping hands, and a gesturing hand. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Death Trooper Black Chrome version 6 scale figure by Hot Toys. Be sure to follow Unsealed and Revealed, How to Be a Poser, and Strike a Pose for more 6 scale shenanigans. 
If you'd like more information on this figure, follow the link below. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Did you enjoy that video? Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.